Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We just talked about Florida State and Clemson and how some decisions are going to have to be made pretty soon about what they want to do in 2025 with the ACC and that has a lot of dominoes that could fall with the TV deal with uh, private equity possibly getting involved with both these universities. So a lot going on, let's just put it that way, but a lot of uh, answers will be coming here pretty shortly I do think. But let's jump into Texas. Uh, they made a little bit of a viral content this upcoming weekend, let's put it that way. They had some big-time recruits on campus, guys like Michael Terry, guys like Javion Hilson, a very, very talented edge rusher that is currently committed to Florida State. They had all of them in town in Austin, and they put on a show, let's put it that way. They had a fleet of Lamborghinis out, outside their uh, facilities as recruits were walking into their visit. And it started a big conversation on Twitter, as a lot of things around Texas does. They say, you know, Texas is selling the wrong thing to these kids. You know, they're lying to these kids about the way that NIL works at their school. They're doing X, Y, and Z. There's a, there's a million different critiques of this, and I have my own. I'll, I'll put it that way. But let's jump into this. And overall, let's start with what Texas is selling, because I think a lot of people, when they saw this clip, said, wow, Texas is selling, you know, only NIL and they're not, you know, leaning into any type of football stuff and they're selling out and doing X, Y, and Z. And I kind of understand the, the sentiment there. Um, I, I understand why this would set off alarms. And frankly, it set off alarms for me. I, I am a Texas fan. I, I would proudly admit that. I try my best to keep my biases out of this and I will for this segment as well. But I think there is that chance where, you know, a kid walking through a fleet of Lamborghinis who you really want on your roster is turned off by that, which is likely the person that you want on your roster anyway, definitely the person that I would want on my team. But there's also run the risk that some kids get involved for the wrong reasons, uh, whether it's NIL or how much they can pay or getting to drive around one of those Lamborghinis, whatever that looks like. Maybe they commit for the wrong reasons. Maybe they do some things for the wrong reasons. And usually those are the guys that find their way out of your uh, program pretty quickly and could hurt your program in a lot of ways down the road if you're not careful. So there's a lot of things that can happen with this. Um, there's so many different things that can, in a domino effect type of way, affect this program long term. Here's where I kind of pull away from saying that this is exactly what Texas is selling. Because, frankly, Texas can show off whatever they want. They can have a million bells and whistles. They could have 10,000 Lambos lining DKR, for all I care. If the bones of that program are solid, I don't really think there's much of a problem. As long as the messaging within that building is the same as it is, as it has been since uh, Sark showed up and will be going forward... I don't think this will be much of an issue. As long as when those kids get into that room, they don't say, you know, if you commit today, you're getting one of those Lamborghinis and you're driving it right out of this place. As long as that's not happening, I don't necessarily see a big issue with this. Now, I don't love it. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't think it's really what college football is about. I don't necessarily think it's really what NIL was designed to do. Maybe some other people have some different thoughts on that, but I think this is showboaty and you know just kind of flexing their muscles a little bit but to be totally fair Texas has pretty big muscles to flex in the NIL uh, era and in terms of just having that type of money so it'd be a little foolish to not flex those muscles I, I wish that they were doing it in a little bit different of fashion I'll be totally honest with you I found this a little bit you know gross I I, I don't really have a better way to put it I, I just found it you know, uh, not the best way to go about business, I guess is the best way to put it. But overall, it's one of those things that only becomes a problem if Steven uh, Sarkeesian and his staff make it a problem. Um, if they let the wrong guys in for the wrong reasons, that's on them. If they, you know, do some of the wrong things that some other programs in their state have done in the past couple of years and throw a lot of money, NIL money, at a recruiting class that might not be intact in a couple of years, you're doing it wrong. And I, I think they kind of understand that, to be totally honest with you. But let's get to why I don't necessarily think this changes a thing about what Texas is. Um, now, recruiting is a game at the end of the day. And your job as a 
football coach, as you know, the recruiting director, as everyone that is involved in these recruiting visits is to sell a lifestyle. And although that's not necessarily the lifestyle I'd love for them to be selling, if it works, it works. And if those players that walk into that door are walking in, even if they're walking in for the wrong reasons, let's just say they walk in for NIL and that's the only reason. As long as once they get in that building, you whip them up into shape and make them, you know, live up to the standard that you've set over the first couple of years of Steve Sarkeesian's reign over there, you're going to be fine. Um, And I understand there's worry around, you know, can you do that with certain guys in that building? But from where I'm standing, Texas hasn't necessarily made much of a misstep since Steve, uh, Steve Sarkeesian took over. There were not a great situation when he walked in the door. Let's just be totally honest. They had seven scholarship offensive linemen on the roster. The defensive talent wasn't near where it needed to be uh, for them to compete at a national level. And the turnaround that he's made in those three years has just been spectacular. I don't think there's any other way to put it. He had 11 guys drafted for Texas, a program record a year ago, played for the playoff, came up just short to get to a national title, won 12 games for the first time since 2009. So, Steve Sarkeesian has plenty of things to sell these kids. He, he, he's not stopping at the Lamborghinis. It's not just, you know, a NIL check at their door every month, and that's the end of the story. It's about so much more than that at Texas, and they're able to sell so much more than that. So Steve Sarkeesian can look these recruits in the eye and say, you're going to compete for championships for a really long time and not be lying because a lot of things are in place for them to do that. And then he can also look them in the eye and say, If you're going to do that, if we're going to compete for championships, you're going to do it our way when you walk into this building and they'll follow him because there are results behind it. It's not just, you know, you're not selling a dream at this point. You're selling what's actually happened at Texas. So overall, Texas as a program is about as solid as you can possibly be around the country there. You know, Georgia is ahead of them. I will say that very comfortably. I think Ohio State in some respects is ahead. I think Bama in some respects is ahead. There's different programs that have different abilities than Texas has. But if we're talking about pure bones of a uh, program, pure foundation of a program, there's very few out there that are as solid as what Texas is right now. Now, do I love that they're adding Lamborghinis in on the conversation on top of that? No, but it can't necessarily hurt. I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, It it doesn't necessarily do a lot of really, really bad things, at least in the short term for them. All it does is maybe put them a little bit higher on someone's list. And maybe that's the wrong guy. Maybe that's not necessarily the person that's doing it for the right reasons. But as long as once they enter that building, they're doing everything the right way and everything the way that they've been doing it over the first three years of Steve Sarkeesian's reign there, they're going to be fine because... Let's be totally honest, the first three years have been pretty impressive uh, from Steve Sarkeesian. They've only improved since he's gotten there, and it's for a lot more reasons than just NIL. So they can show Lamborghinis as much as they want. The proof is in the pudding, and there's plenty of proof for Texas. Uh, So I fully understand why people don't like this. I don't like it, frankly. I don't like that this is the way that people go about recruiting. I don't like that... You know, 17-year-old kids are inadvertently or, you know, deliberately being sold a lifestyle that probably isn't the best way to go about business. I I don't love it. I'm being very, very honest there, and I really won't budge from that uh, opinion, but it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It matters what Steve Sarkeesian and his uh, staff think, and frankly— They've thought a lot of the right things in the first three years. Um, Now, is this a minor misstep? Possibly. And they definitely could calibrate and could change up some things. But I will get in the end here just quickly. I will get to something that I'm sure a lot of you will love because a lot of you do hate Texas very, very much. The bad scenario for Texas is you let this become who you are. Um, You do this over multiple years where you flaunt Lamborghinis and you flaunt the NIL lifestyle and you lean into that too much and you catch some of the uh, fish that you don't want in your program and that can cause problems. There's no two ways about that. This does open them up to some 
some worries that have, you know, gone on in the sport for quite some time, and no one's really immune to those worries, really, across the country, but Texas putting it out right in front, it definitely does open them up a little bit more. All that being said, and I, we can say, you know, a million different things about the situation, how much we don't like it, and how it is ruining college football, X, Y, and Z. From a Texas perspective, is this my favorite thing in the world that they did this? No. I, I, I don't like it. I think that the people that you actually want in your program would be turned off by that type of thing. I think it's not necessarily the best way to go about business. All that type of stuff. I, I don't love it. Do I think it changes anything that Texas is as a program? Absolutely not. There's nothing in this program that changed on Saturday. Um, now, there could be things that changed down the road because of what happened on Saturday, but that risk is very, very little if you fully trust in what Steve Sarkeesian and his staff are doing. And from where I'm standing, it's hard to say that you shouldn't believe in it. Um, so as long as there's that intensity, as long as there's still that high standard that they hold their players to, as long as everything in that building is solid, have as many bells and whistles as you want. You know, run out as many Lamborghinis and G-Wagons and Buga. It doesn't matter how many beautiful cars you have out front. As long as you're winning football games and as long as the guys that walk into that building know what the standard is and live up to that standard, you're going to be fine. Um, so I understand why people don't like this. I fully understand why people think it's a dangerous way to go about recruiting because I think it is and I don't love it either. But from a Texas perspective, it doesn't change who they are. Um, it, it, it changes some perception of them for sure. It changes... Uh, the way, you know, some people like me or some other media people or some other teams might look at them. But the bones are really solid over there, at least right now. Uh, could cracks form? Yeah. But as of right now, they look really, really solid. And I have no reason to question what Steve Sarkeesian is doing over there. So while I don't love the Lamborghinis, while I don't love all the flash and all the NIL lean in that they're doing over there, the game is the game, and as long as the bones are solid in your program, you're going to be more than fine regardless of what you do. So um, it'll be fascinating to watch that develop, but let's take our second break here, and when we come back, we're going to talk about the SEC win totals. There are a couple of teams that I think might be a little too high on these win totals, a couple of teams that I think are frankly way too low on these win totals. So we'll break that down right after this, and so stick with us. <laughs> 